story? I think it's important to get details right. If you really are telling a historical story, possibly about a real person. But then again, I don't think it's that important to be absolutely a thousand percent historically accurate. I think it's also impossible. I mean, in terms of creating costumes, we don't have the same materials now. We don't have the same machinery. You just cannot make something look exactly the same as the original. I mean, for instance, I actually got to handle some of Queen Victoria's clothes at Kensington Palace when I was researching that period. And there was no way I could recreate those things because you just cannot get, the quality of the fabric is totally different. In comparison, what we make looks enormous, but then everything's bigger now, people are bigger now. The clothes that you put an actor in, it's not just about clothing the actor, it's about creating the character, but then the character has got to be believable. And if you put an item of clothing or a whole outfit on an actor and they start moving strangely or unnaturally, then you think, well, that's not right. You then work on it to make them look like they've been worn for, you know, five years, 10 years, 20 years. I think the hardest thing is to make something look old, but in a subtle way. I'm very aware of bad aging, you know, where you can literally see the sort of like, it's come straight out of a spray can. That's when it's a disaster.